Hey there, welcome to today's screencast. Today we're going to learn how to log in to your Drupal site. Now, I'm starting with the assumption that you've got a fresh installation of Drupal and you want to know how to log into it. So here we go. Here I am. I am looking at, I'm in Firefox right now, and I'm looking at, I've, I've gone to my fresh installation of Drupal. This I haven't done anything with this. Uh, my site name is RoboBunny Attack, and so it's telling me welcome to RoboBunny Attack. And uh, I'd like to log in. And what does that mean exactly? Well, let's just take a moment and, and understand this. Whenever you're working with a Drupal site, you need to understand that there's a front end to the site. The front end is what you know regular site visitors see and then there's also a back end to the site and the back end is where you are going to make all your changes this is where you're going to add content and, and set up and work on your design and do all sorts of cool stuff like that um, and so you need to access that back end in order to design your site and this is what we're going to do. So logging into your site, that basically just means accessing the back end of your site so that you can do all sorts of administrative work on your site. And so, uh, you know, it, it might, I've gone to the page. This is the address where my Drupal is installed. Yours will be different. Um, and it seems pretty obvious, right? I just put my username and password here. By the way, you should have a username and password for your Drupal site. This would have been either given to you by the person who installed Drupal for you or you set this up yourself. Um, and so you're thinking, yeah, okay, I, I get it. I probably don't need a screencast to tell me how to log in. And true enough, you could put your username here and your password here, click the login button, and boom, you're in. But before we do that, I want to explain something to you. This this block right here, and this actually is what it's called. It's called, it's a block. Um, this actually doesn't have to be there. In fact, one of the first things you might do when you log into your site is you might remove this user login block because that might not fit into your site design. Okay, um, and so what happens if you take this out? Have you removed the ability to log into your site? No, of course not. You can still log into your site. It's just a default installation will have this here to make it easier, but chances are you're not going to want to leave it here. So I'm going to show you where you go to actually log in if you can't find this user login block. And that's basically you just add the word user to the end here and then you hit enter. Here we go. Let's go there. Hey, look, at this. this is the new page on your Drupal site. Uh, this is the user account login page, and this is actually where you could create a new account. You can actually, this can be turned on and off. You can request a new password if you've forgotten your password, but here we just want to, and no, we do not want that. Never ask again. There we go. Um, here, you would just enter your username, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Bunny attack. There's my username, and I'm going to enter my password, my super secret password. There we go. Hopefully, I enter the right password. I'm going to click login. And so let's log in, and here we go. And it doesn't look all that different, does it? Well, actually, it does. There's a few things that are different here. Um, first thing we see is this black bar along the top. This is your first clue that you're actually logged into the back end of your site now. Uh, and then there's this gray bar right here, and then the rest of your site is underneath here. So this is how it sort of works. When you're logged into your site um, as the administrator, or as it, you will get this black bar up here, and this is a whole bunch of, you've got all these new menus here, and this is where you can actually do a bunch of stuff with your site. If I click on, the, see the little home button here, this brings me to the front page. And you'll notice that this front page looks very familiar, right? It still says, welcome to RoboBunny Attack, but we've got a few more options. See, when we hover over things, we get these little menu or these little uh, icons, these little gear icons, and that should be a clue to us that, hey, we can actually do stuff here. There's also some new links, these add content links. Obviously, you know, your regular site visitors don't see this. Um, so there you are. You're logged in to your site. I'm going to give you a hint. Um, when you're making changes to your site, um, you will it, it, you will see them show up in your site, but you need to remember that you're seeing your site as the administrator. So you are seeing the logged in version of your site. Um, so how would you see what it looks like to a regular site visitor. Well, I guess you could log out and then you could look at it and then you could log back in. And that's kind of a pain to do. And so what I like to do instead is I like to just open up another web browser and go to the site there. So in fact, why don't I do that right now? I'll just go ahead and open Opera. And this is why it's handy to have lots of different web browsers. Uh, and then you also get to experiment with different things. I'm going to go ahead and go to demo.com 
robobunnyattack.com slash Drupal. And we're going, we're going, we're going. There we go. Okay, so this is what the site looks like when you're not logged in. This is what the site looks like when you are logged in. If you're handy with your keyboard shortcuts, particularly on a Mac, you can just flip back and forth between these two. And I find this is a really handy way to develop. You can actually make a change in Firefox and then switch over to Opera and see whether or not uh, you know the change is as you expected it. Um, and, uh, and it doesn't have to be Firefox and Opera. It could be the, your two, two web browsers of your choice. Last but not least, here's a little skill testing question. Why can't you just open up a new window in Firefox and do the same thing there? Huh? Let's, well, let me show you what happens. RubBunnyAttack.com and, oops, wrong site. <laughs> I should have added Drupal. There we go. Okay, because you're still logged in right? You're using the same browser. You can't just open up a new um, uh, um, uh, tab. Uh, you, Dr your Drupal installation doesn't, doesn't matter. Like your Drupal installation assumes that you're logged in no matter what tab is open in Firefox. So you're not going to get, you know, the real effect of understanding what your site looks like to uh, an external visitor. Okay, I've probably spent way too much time talking about that. But suffice it to say, now you know how to log into your site, right? I'm going to go ahead and log out. And there we are. And remember, the important takeaway lesson here is just add the word user. Okay. And I'd recommend just get used to doing that right now. Okay. Um, because you're probably going to get rid of that login block, block pretty soon. All right. That's it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope that, that was helpful. And I'll see you next time.